up, people? It's your boy Jatwa. I'm here today in Kerbal Space Program. What you are seeing before you today is Minerva. This is the finalized version of Minerva, which is indeed a flying wing. Now, this design is slightly different from the one that we were building. I have done a few tweaks to it. And also, it still has all the hard points that we are also using to stretch our strut connectors over to because this is what is going to help this plane stay a bit more stable. Now, you're, if you're wondering why we have to use so many hard points, it's because, well, the struts don't go very far. To fix that, of course, you can go to the strut configuration and increase the length from 10 to whatever length you want. I would suggest 100 or 1000 so you can build your craft in a new waveform or fashion and use struts to hold it together. Because if I don't use struts for this craft, the wings flap all over the place because physics. So this is the finalized version of Minerva. I have switched the engines over to some afterburners for uh, to the Panthers to give us a bit more maneuverability. This craft is completely stock, and you see we even have the the what I call the Illuminati <laughs> yaw control designed in here, which is in line with one another, which gives us better yaw control. Not the best, but better. So, what we're going to do is take this beast out for a flight and hopefully see what all she can do. So, let's turn our brakes off. And let's activate our engines, go full throttle. We're going to hit our afterburners just for the heck of it. Why not? And this thing should lift off nice and easy. Ideally, you want to lift off before you get around those fuel tanks. You have plenty of distance from them, but just in case things go awry, it's good to be away from them. Because our wingspan brings everything really close. And look at that shadow on the ground. Look at that shadow on the ground. That is menacing. That is beautiful. Look at our frames per second. That is terrible. That is just god awful anyhow let's go ahead and take this bird for a quick maneuver we're going to try our roll control i had to adjust this craft because i was getting a lot of yaw loss and we had a lot of side slip was going on and the reason we're not taking the armed version of this craft out for a flight is because the freeze per second dropped so incredibly that i just was not able to properly play the game with that much. This craft alone has a ton of FPS drop for it, so maybe some people with some stronger systems than my own would be able to take this bird out for a flight and let me know what they think of it. This one is pretty nice. I have the old AMD FX chip, so it is a bit older uh, and is easily outmatched by any of the newer Ryzen or i5, i7 chips, so this one is pretty old, but it's still a fantastic aircraft and maneuvers absolutely beautifully. As you can see, there is our mess right there of strut connectors that we need to keep our craft from flailing all about every which direction. And look at the maneuverability on a craft this size. This is actually exactly what I was hoping for with this craft. Just not with the frames per second loss. <laughs> But, let's take her up and let's do a big loop here. Alright, here we go. Let's get up and into the air a bit. This craft is rather large. We're going to get away from the base a bit. So we can gain a few frames per second back. But, this one is definitely one of my favorite aircraft. It is a stock flying wing that looks absolutely menacing absolutely st stupendous and now I've shown you guys how to build your own stock wings in case you were wondering it's not that hard it's just manipulating the wing designs out there and then finding a way to make it stable and now you get this nice little stylized wing that looks just crisp it looks absolutely crisp so let's do that loop we have plenty of pitch on this thing so we can actually do a pretty quick loop and let's turn off the ABs right there. Turn it back on. Yeah, turn it back off. So we can get a nice sharp turn in there. Yes. Yes. Oh, she's so stable. It's ridiculous. 
So, a flying wing, great design, does take a little bit more thought, and also you have to think about landing. So let's check out how quickly we drop speed. So I'm going to turn on my afterburners, and we're going to go to zero throttle. Because I need to see how fast our brakes are going to engage. So let's see our surface speed drop in 3, 2, 1, go. I think that should be enough to get us down down pretty quickly because we just need enough to slow us down this one unfortunately will lift off at about 40 meters per second because we have all the wing area so you would definitely have to glide this one in for a landing and not do a hot landing because it's not gonna work here so look how long it's taking just to slow down look how long it's taking we can even nose down and this thing is still just gliding so definitely if you're taking this bird out for a flight keep in mind that you are going to have to uh, you're definitely gonna have to think about slowing down a lot sooner because our glide our our stall is a lot lower than most crafts that are going to be out there we're about to stall out it's about to happen see if we can recover from it look how slow it's going and just cruising along for a craft this size that's ridiculous alright we're gonna go ahead and once we get down to 50 we're gonna turn off our brakes and go full throttle ooh ooh there we go brakes off full throttle it's basically just gliding right there that is a very very ridiculously stable craft so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this one I'm gonna disappear off the camera real quick hold on let's show you this real quick I think everybody's gonna want to see this without my face in there so let's let's give everybody a view of this craft doing a nice little wing turn and a whoosh. if you're wondering what stage zero is that is for yes we have a cargo bay a dual cargo bay to allow for additional munitions to be stored or science science things as well that will work as well so there you go Let's give you a nice little wide wing turn here Ooh, a nice wide wing turn a little bit of yaw control and bring it back up that is beautiful all the yes in the world it's like flying a razor blade it's absolutely beautiful so hopefully you have enjoyed this craft I will drop this one also on Kerbal X and you guys can go and pick it up anytime you would like and hopefully you have some fun flying this one around but for now, I'm going to get on out of here. If you like to see and hit that like button, drop me in the comment, let me know what you think. And I will catch you guys in the next video. For now, this is your boy Jaquan. I'm out. Peace. This looks amazing. Hold on. You know if you go up from the, from the top here and you zoom out, it actually looks like it has camouflage because the shadow effects on the, uh, on the strut connectors. There you go. That's the shot. That's the money shot. That's awesome. <laughs> I love that.